a sign of victory. During elections, the humblest man on the street becomes the powerful consumer, with the power to choose, to reject, to buy. The only problem with buying a promise for a vote, however, is that promises don't come with any guarantees. A former politician himself, economist Lloyd Best, has his theories as to why promises are broken. They're all the same set of people. All of them were created by Williams politics because they all feel that you could make a statement on a platform two weeks before the elections, win the election, become a minister or a member of parliament, and change the world. Now, that is that, you see, Williams came to power because he formed a party in, in, in January and he was the prime minister in September. And they all believe that politics is magic. So they don't want to build political parties. They don't want to build political ideas. They're not doing any work. No matter what the problems are, and no matter what we do, the underlying philosophy of the government is, is the we care, we care. We achieved a certain amount of unity and cohesion within the society. And I think that racial tensions were less uh, and uh, not intense during the period that we were in. Uh, in anything that the NER was involved in, you could always see all types of people. And I think to that extent, there was a certain amount of um, transformation of the nature and culture of the society. Um, however, when the split came in 1988, that, in a sense, ruptured the promise of national unity. And the honest business of one love was a grand self-delusion. Nobody believed that. How could you believe that? When was this party ever put together? What did they discuss? What did they quarrel about? Best and Pandey agree that the power of words have been eroded, that nobody believes anymore. How else do you explain the need that Mr. Manning feels to come one month after his Minister of Finance has delivered a budget to deliver something which looks like another budget. If it isn't because he feels in his soul that the, the original promises are wearing off. Tiwari and Seth disagree. They feel analysis has been done at all levels. I am satisfied with the year in office. It has not been an easy year. And, um, I know most of my colleagues, we work long hours, uh, we, uh, we spend a lot of time on, 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 on government business. Uh, we have a cabinet that is working as a team and it's, it's, it's very cohesive. If they face the question of alienation, they will have to renege on their racist policies, for example. The, 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 the PNM has created a uh, a, a racist political syndrome in the country, which they'll have to deny. They'll have to abandon it. They have um, for years sustained the political power on the basis of the racial cleavages in the society. And um, to, to confront that problem and to deal with it. Tiwari feels it is impossible to move a country forward on the basis of race. The PNM and the UNC, whatever you call them, are always, to me, two sides of the same coin. If Mr. If, if the UNC is strong in the central belt of this country or among the Indian community, then the PNM is strong within the East-West Corridor. I take it then since a coin only has two sides, uh, what Dr. Tiwari is saying that there's really no NAR. It's not the bottom line. Uh, people vote for all different reasons. Some people may vote uh, because of race. Some people may vote because of class. Some people may vote because of the, the commitment to a party. Have you have grabbed for power Indianization of the government? The moment you try to end the racism, they accuse us of being racists. Um, and that is, those are the problems. So Lloyd Bess is right when he says that the problem is largely cultural. The verdict for the future is harsh. These countries will just disappear like chaff before the wind. It happens over and over. Civilization just disappear because the people don't have the will, they don't have the strength, they don't have the penetration, they don't have the insight to stand up and fight for their future. They just go down complaining. Now that you've heard all the sides, can we be saved? I promise you that next Monday night, I'll bring you more on political promises. 
Ira Mathur, TV6 News, with a special report.